Okay, guys. These are my uh, California Bandit Geckos. Apologize for the lighting. Um, but these guys I put in with uh, my Vajovinus Hoffmeyer. Our Vajovinus Benigerus Hoffmeyer. Oh, you just barely missed them, little guy. And, um, they kind of remind me of tiny little leopard geckos. Which, uh, you know, I've kept leopard geckos in the past, and I love them. And they're, they're my favorite lizard, one of my favorite lizards ever. Uh, but, uh, these guys are just kind of a cool little variation. And the leopard geckos, they're native to North America. Um, mainly California and Arizona and places around there. Oh, so close. Um, but, uh, they're just a really cool species to own. Um, they're not too popular, not too many people own them. Uh, they're pretty cheap. They're like 20, 25 bucks a piece. Um, I think I got both of these guys for 25 bucks at Reptile Expo. You know, but, uh, when I first got them, they weren't eating at all. Come on, have a little more gusto than that, man. <sighs> Go after it. Get them. Run them down. Um, but they're really cool. They weren't eating at first. I just had them in a separate cage, just both of them together. And then, uh, I said, well, you know, might as well put both, uh, the scorpions and the geckos together. So I did that, and, uh, they were really skinny when I first got them. Like, they looked totally unhealthy when I bought them from the expo. And I'm... I would hate to say that they're wild caught, but I'm really not sure. I would like to think that they're, uh, captive bred. But, um, you never know. Um, especially since they come from Arizona and California. Um, but, they're really cool little interesting geckos. Where'd the other one go? The other one went down in there. Let's see if we can see anything. Not really. Yeah, but, um, these guys are in with, uh, the scorpion. Once I put them in, in this enclosure, they really start to love it, and they start eating, and they start getting fat. Now they're really, really healthy. Um, just a little overview of the enclosure. You can see that they got, uh, four little, uh, burrowing holes that we made with a sand composite mixture of sculpting clay and normal, uh, repti sand or whatever. And, um, I made it so the bottom layer was mostly just normal sand, and the top layer was more of a composite mixture, so that they'd be able to burrow through it. And, uh, I don't know if you can really see right now, but, uh, there's one of their side tunnels. There's another little side tunnel. You can just barely see the tip of the scorpion's tail. And uh, if I could get around back, that tunnel back there loops all the way around to uh, that tunnel over there. So it's pretty cool um, how they did that. And the geckos and the scorpions actually worked together on it. I watched them both uh, digging the tunnels together. Uh, so it was pretty cool, uh, how well they get along, you know, most people would be kind of freaked out, uh, from doing something like this, uh, you're just adorable, um, you know, I'm not gonna get into any arguments with people, because, uh, you know, they're doing really well, um, geckos kind of trample the scorpions at times, and, and I actually even beat them up. Uh, yeah, you can see, like, there's how the lighting shines through. On, uh, through there. That's because there's tunnels running all throughout there. You know, it really worked out well. And the tunnels are secure. Since it has a harder, it's softer sand at the bottom. And it's harder sand up top. So that it stays stable. And it's not going to crumble and uh, crush them. So it worked out really well. Um, I think they really enjoy it. Actually, there's not four tunnels. There's five. There's one underneath that rock, too. But, um, 
and if you want to count the one on the side and the other side and uh, I don't know there's tunnels all throughout this little closure but they love it um, and they're doing really well it's just kind of a cool little project um, a great display piece just something not too many people have and that'll be it for my video